Welcome back to another video. Now you guys might be wondering why it looks different than normal. Uh, that's because some of you have made comment want to see my collection. So I decided to add a little bit, a partial. I'm going to showcase par a partial of my collections. It's not all of them because it's going to be too much work to put it out. So I'm going to, for the first show uh, showcase video, I'll show off my Sword and Shield era collection so you guys can uh, know that what I'm collecting and maybe that will inspire you to keep some sealed, some Sword and Shield era sealed as well. And this is my cat Ayo right here. It's my very, very own Eevee. It's very cute. But without further ado, my collections is over here. So again, this is only my partial collection. I'm mainly showing off my Sword and Shield era collect, uh, the, the seal stuff I have um, put it away. And of course, when you talk about Sword and Shield era, personally, one collection that I must have is the booster box for every single set. So as you can see, starting from the Sword and Shield base set, I have every single um, set from Sword and Shield in my collection. Now, just for you know the video's sake, I didn't take every single booster box I have. There are several sets that have multiple booster box put away. For example, uh, my Evolving Skies, I'm, I probably have about another four booster box I put away, and the same thing with Brilliant Stars and some other booster boxes. But I, I do have this displayed um, in my room. So as a whole set from my booster box, and I think that it's probably one of the best collection I have for Sword and Shield. I love seeing Seal Booster Box put it away, especially it's a whole era. You know, it's just crazy. It's it's such a good display piece. And moving on, I also have this the the, the Japanese postage combo. Um, if a lot of you don't know what this is, this um, Pokemon worked with uh, Japan Post. In Japan, they came. They came out with this promo product that has um, the Pokemon uh, postage inside. Okay, and besides the postage, it comes with two cards, which I'll put on the screen right here. It it has these old school Japanese like painting style, and the, the, they're actually pretty expensive right now. I think this box alone right now goes for somewhere above five hundred dollars. When I first picked it up on eBay. It's around 250, somewhere between 200 and 300, because that's when it just came out. And right now, the, the this box is worth about 500 bucks. And moving on, one of the collection that I love is this uh, EV Gym Hero Elite Trainer box. So this is an exclusive uh, ETB at um, Japan by Pokemon Center, and it's not. It's, you can't buy them anywhere else. So this is such a nice product because as we all know, EV collections are just as popular as Charizard nowadays. Um, I believe this box goes for over $1,200 right now. When I first bought it, it was about $300 on eBay. And over time, this became $1,200. But I just love having this in my display right here. It's really, really good. I also have the 25th anniversary ultra premium collections So right here, I, I bought an acrylic case, but honestly, I don't really like the acrylic case um, on the box here because uh, I don't know. I, I think it takes the shine away of the seal product for me So as you can see a lot of my seal product don't have a protective case I I just don't like the look of the acrylic case It is it catches dirt easier and then uh, like dust and then it's just very obvious you know, so this is a must-have by the way if you guys don't have an ultra premium collection in your collection right now I think the price of that box just came down a little bit recently 
um, it's a great time to pick one up because I think in long term it's going to do so well. And it's such a nice display piece too. If you put it, just you, you use it as a display for your shelf, for your desk, it just looks amazing. So moving on to the Elite Trainer Box, my Elite Trainer Box's collections. Now this is just a partial of my Elite Trainer Box collections. Um, these are the ones that I think it's, you know, in Sword and Shield era. Well, w this one, the Hidden Face actually from Sun and Moon. But, you know, I really like the box of the Hidden Face, so I include it in here. But in Sword and Shield era, um, I only included the Champion's Path. Because um, uh, it's actually, for me, it was really hard to get the Champion's Path ETB at retail cost. Because um, that's during the, when it got released, it was during the pandemic. So it was sold out really, really quickly. I think I had to buy on London Drugs and um, when it first came out I had the notification set on and I, I quickly bought a couple but it's really hard to get, get it at retail cost so I really like the, the box you got the Charizard VMAX on here and the my favorite ETVs to collect are the Pokemon Center editions okay I love Pokemon Center exclusive ETVs I have one, I have uh, at least one per every single set. So you see the Chilling Rain. This is the first one that uh, that came out that's a Pokemon Center exclusive, has the wordings on there. Um, when these came out, I didn't start collecting Pokemon cards yet. Like I didn't get back into it yet. So I actually had to buy these from uh, other collectors. Um, so I had to retro it back. And then we got, look at that, we got the Lost Origins, so cool, Astral Radiance, and then we got the Silver Tempest right here, and of course you cannot miss the two Evolving Skies Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box right here. I think this box right now, like these two together, is probably somewhere about $300, and then we all know the potential Evolving Skies, right? Right here, and I love displaying these as well. And I'll probably will collect the same for Scarlet and Violet right here, Pokemon Center Edition. So going on with the Scarlet and Violet, I will buy every single set of uh, every single booster box for every single set to keep it sealed, and then also the Lee Trainer box. And right here is the Precious Collector box. Now, if you guys don't know what this is, um, it's like a um, <clears throat> special collector box that was released in Japan only in uh, uh, the Pokemon Center website as well. You can see a cool, like, there's some reflection, but I can see there's different Pokemons on there. It only comes with one card, and I'll put that card on the screen here. That card is the reason why people is buying this box, okay? And inside comes with some really cool play mats, a deck box, and then I think there's like a frame to show up that card. But that card, you, you can't get it anywhere else. It's the same um, artwork that you get in Crown Zenith uh, as a secret rare. But the Japanese version, it's much, much more valuable. And that's because you can only get it if you buy this box. And this box goes for about like $600 Canadian right now. I got some, some of the special set, Crown Zenith. And, and then also the Pokemon Go. I really love the Pokemon Go Pokemon Center Edition, like the, the ETB. I think it's so cool. It literally looks like Mewtwo is looking out of the spaceship. So I really, really like the design of this box. And of course, I kept a, uh, one of the holiday calendars for the Sword and Shield era right here. So, and from top above, that's how every booster box looks like per set at the back. So this is the my, my uh, seal collection for Sword and Shield era. I got a lot more, but this is just partial. I will show you guys some of the singles that I have um, in my collection. We are finally back at our table. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna showcase some of the singles I have in my collection. I will start with some of the Charizard ones. Now, not all of my Charizard singles are here. Uh, I put some of them in my binder. I didn't bring my binder. Um, I'm not gonna showcase my binder because if I'm showcasing everything, I think this video will be way too long. If you guys do like this kind of video, I will make a second one with me with my other collections. Um, but I'm gonna showcase what I have in my... This is what I called, I put them like this. This is the 25th anniversary box. This is my Charizard box. Uh, the cards that I put, you know, I put it separately with a top loader and it's not in a binder. 
So first off, of course, we're, we, I have the sealed special delivery Charizard in here. Uh, it's really hard to see on camera, but I got a couple that had a hollow bleed. So the hollow actually come down here, as you can see. So it's really, I, I love it. I was hoping I can get a hollow bleed um, special delivery Charizard, and I did. So I'm super happy that I got these. I got two. I think I got three in total. I gave one uh, to my nephew. And then I kept two for myself. And then I got the Plasma Storm, the uh, um, the Charizard right here, the Gold Secret Rare. I had this for a while. Um, this was in my collection for for quite a bit of quite a bit of time. It's not in the best condition. I think it's more of a maybe very light play or a light play condition. But I love this card. It looks so cool. Look at the hollows, man. The hollow back in the day, the hollow looks so much better, right? Look how cool this hollow is compared to the hollow now. So there's, of course, the hollow nowadays wouldn't, you know, wouldn't work that much. And I also got this Charizard V from Champions Path. It, it's pretty crazy. I got this card from I think Champion Path, one of the pin collections. Uh, it only has four packs inside. I found it at GameStop. That was the only box available. That's when that's during pandemic where no nobody has any Pokemon cards to sell. So apparently someone returned the box to GameStop and it has like four packs inside. I bought it and I pulled a freaking Charizard, shiny Charizard V out of that box. Yo, whoever returned it, thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much. It's because of you I was able to pull this card. And next up, I got the Brilliant Stars um, Charizard V Ultimate Art. I love this card. Such, such a beautiful card. I love it. it's a battering Venusaur. This is such an amazing artwork. In my opinion, it's definitely one of the must collect card in 2020, 2022, right? Because the card itself com comes out 2022. So I'm going to quickly go through some of the cards that I have um, because it's going to take way too long to explain every single one of them. I also got the Rainbow Charizard GX. Excuse my top loaders. You know, it has some stickers on there, but that's definitely not the card itself. That is from the top loaders. I might switch <laughs> to a better top loader for this card because it definitely deserves a better top loader for sure. I got the Charizard V Max, Shiny Charizard V Max. And I got two of the Rainbow Charizards right here. One I pulled on camera with you guys. Uh, the other one, I, I pulled it off camera, so I got two rainbow. I'm not selling any one of these. Um, I'm collecting them all. I love these Charizards. And then the Bidoof, Special Delivery Bidoof. This card is so freaking cute. Look at Bidoof in the middle. I love this card. Um, Special Delivery Bidoof, it's, uh, I think it's a bit more rare than the Special Delivery Charizard. Because... Um, it was only a code card and they didn't print as many as a special delivery Charizard so that so it's actually more expensive and then we got the <laughs> I bought this a while back too I think it's a special edition one so it's a Pikachu with the Charizard costume I love this card it's so cute I put it in my Charizard collection because technically it could be Charizard you know and just a couple Charizard V star in Japanese and then the uh, Charizard UPC promos right here. I think it's a great time to pick up these um, Charizard UPC or the promo as well because they're currently going on a cheaper price. But the artwork is so good. I honestly think the value of these cards will probably go up just because when it's when when the actual box is not available, that's that's when I think the price will probably go uh, go up. So we got the, this is the V-Star, the Charizard one. I got four because this one is actually Japanese. I pulled this on camera with you guys as well with my V-Star universe. And then I opened three Charizard PCs. So that's why I have three per each promo. And the, I got like just, just a little bit more, not much, but I got some of the Radiant right here. And then also the uh, Trainer Gallery and the Japanese one. Okay, I got other Charizards in Binder, but these are the ones I put separately in my Charizard box. And this is just Charizard box alone. The next thing, uh, the next box I'll, uh, I'll showcase is my alternate art and full art trainer box. Now again, that's not 
everything that I have. It's just a portion, but I think it's one of the best, uh, one of the best alternators that I have. Okay, I don't know if I'll go through all of them, uh, just because due to time's sake, but I will go through some of the ones that I think that's the best. So I got a lot of cards in this box right here and it's filled. So I might not go through every single one of them. I will go through some of the ones I like the most. Um, but first one, I got the Rayquaza V Max right here, alternate art. This this card is crazy. I opened up the, um, I didn't get it from any Evolving Sky booster box or ETB. I actually bought the Trainer's Toolkit 2023, the purple one. So it actually comes with one pack of Evolving Skies and that pack gave me a Rayquaza V Max. Okay, I was super lucky. I got this super nice protective case on top of it because then you can use it as a display piece. I, I might actually grade some of these cards later on um, because I it's definitely, some of, my, some of my cards are definitely worth grading. Um, but I, I just want to wait till I have like at least 100, 200 cards to grade and ship and ship it to PSA um, Because the shipping PSA is actually pretty expensive like the shipping back they'll charge you And I got the crown zenith Pikachu right here. This is the artwork I was talking about for the purchase collector box uh, But for English version, it's a secret rare in crown zenith and then I got the Lugia VO art. I try to collect like the best alternate art per every single set. So I got the Lugia VL art, one of my favorite cards for sure. I love this artwork. I love Lugia. Lugia is probably my favorite legendary, to be honest, out of every single legendary. And I got the Garatina VL art right here. Look how beautiful this artwork is. This card is freaking amazing. Look at that. And the price of this card is going up like crazy too because uh, when it first came out I think the market price for the cards about 250 right now the market price is about 400 450 because um, lost or and I think lost origin the whole set is uh, pulled the weight is actually pulled by Garatina V and the Aerodactyl and then I got the match V right here pulled it on camera with you guys I also have the Gengar V max alternate art Espeon V max right here Blazik and VMAX from Chilling Rain. Mew VMAX from Fusion Strike. Got the Mew V alternate art. And I pulled it. I pulled it on camera with you guys too. Pokemon Go. And the Dragon Eye V. Pull out a little bit more card. These are my alternate art collections. And I got the Rayquaza V from Evolving Skies. Origin Form Dialga V. I pulled this on camera with you guys too. Levion V Star from Crown Zenith. I, this is definitely an off camera pull. And same thing with the Simisir V Star. I pulled it off camera. Deoxys V Max from Crown Zenith. That's why I love Crown Zenith. There's so many alternate art in there. And this is the promo card. So I got a Vaporeon V Max and V. This, that, this is from the EV Lucian collection box. I do have the sealed box. Uh, in my collection. I didn't show showcase any of my collection box um, sealed uh, because there's t I, I, th I figured that would be too much. Um, maybe next time. If you guys like this kind of video, then I'll make another one. And I got my Dark Red V Star. Jolteon, Jolteon V Max. Got the set. Flareon, Flareon V Max. Umbreon V. And the only gold alternate I pulled from Crown Zenith so far is the original form Pokemon V Star. I still need the other three cards for sure, so I'm still gonna I'm still gonna try. Espeon V and Glaceon V Star. There's a lot of Evolutions in here uh, because I think Evolution is definitely the way to go. I, I, it's kind of growing on me. So we got Raikou V, Suicune. I think I'm just missing the Entei to have the the trio. Tornadoes V, Sneasler, right here. A lot of these I put on camera with you guys, and I love these cards. So Mazenta, Zashin. I got a Japanese one from Vsar Universe as well. The Hunch Crow, the Minion. Okay, just gonna quickly go through this. So we got Luc Lucario, Sumrot, Kokunder, and then Rayquaza V Max. 
Okay, I don't think I'll show off any more alt art, but what I'll do instead, I will take off some of my trainer cards to show off. So give me a moment here. Moments later. So these are the trainer cards that I collect. And this is the Erda alternate art. As you all know, this is definitely one of my pulls I really want to pull from Crown Zenith. I didn't get to pull one, so I had to buy one off another collector. But definitely, definitely happy to have this card in my collection right now. And I also got the Erida Full Art from Astral Radiance, Cynthia's Ambitions, Marnie. I think this is the promo card from the Marnie Collector box, and you can only get this this uh, artwork from that box. But I got Rainbow Clara, Solora's Premonition, Adamant, Friends and Sinnoh, Gardenia's Viger. Furious old girl. Now a lot of these, <clears throat> I like the promos or the cards I opened up on camera with all of you. So every single card is like a memory, you know. The Marty's Pride, Raihan. Look at look at these trainer card. Isn't the artwork just so freaking amazing? We've got Erezu, Penny, my favorite um, recent addition to my trainer collection is definitely the Penny card. Got Melanie, Shauna, Lady, and a signed Marnie card. Now, again, these, these are just small, small pieces of my collection. I also have other cards, uh, such as Special Delivery Pikachu. Yeah, I have another box that I put um, not alternate art and also not trainer, um, also not Charizard in. Like, those are my oldies uh, collections. I also have another binder. So if you guys want to see more, just make sure to let me know in the comment down below that you, you do want to see more of my collections. Now I'll definitely, definitely make another one. Um, but for now, these are my Sword and Shield era collections. If you want to collect Sword and Shield, which I think you should, I actually think Sword and Shield is probably one of the best era. has so many great artworks and the prices are just off the roof. I hope this would inspire you a little bit what, uh, what to purchase, what to buy. All right, and we have to keep the tradition going, um, you know, for the giveaway. So I will actually take pick four cards, not from the collection I showed today, because these are my personal collections. But I will pick four cards that I have um, in my collection for the giveaway, and then I will announce it um, at the end of the video. Now, just for uh, any of those of you, just you know, maybe your first time watching my channel, watching the video. I do give away cards every single week. Um, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave uh, leave a comment down below. Okay, that's how you enter. And I will announce the winner in next week's video. Okay, let's go ahead and do the giveaway. A few moments later. Just before I announce the cards I'll be giving away, I just realized I have these two metal cards on my table all the time. Uh, this is definitely in my collection too. But because, you know, the way my camera put, it doesn't see the top of the boxes. I actually had it like this. So, you know, you guys just never see it. But I got the Ultra Premium Collection promo, the Metal Card Pikachu right here. The the plastic they come with is like a super good display piece. So I just kept it in there and displayed it like that. And also the Charizard Metal Card right here. These are pretty expensive too. I think the, the Pikachu one is okay, maybe like less than a hundred dollars. But the Charizard metal cards, what's what what's it what, what's expensive? And I think my card is actually in really good condition because a lot of people get them like chipped, and that would reduce the value of the card. All right, back to the giveaway. Uh, this week, the card that I'll be giving away is right here. I'll give away four cards. I'll be giving away uh, Magnezone V Star right here. One, one of my V-Star collections. And I also give away the Parasex Trainer Gallery. I think this artwork is actually freaking amazing. I love it. I, I love how this, you know, this Parasex is just in the back padding this trainer right here. So cute. This artwork is so good. I'll also be giving away a Spidops EX. The new SAR card from, from the Scarlet and Violet. And the last card I'll be giving away is a Full Art Schoolboy, right here. Those of you love the Full Art Trainer, there is a Schoolboy up for the grabs. Now I will announce the winner um, for this week's video in next week's video, okay? 
Now, as for the winner from last week's video, you guys are over here. That's right. Thank you so much. Thank you all. All the names that's on screen right now. Um, you guys subscribed, liked, and watched the video. That's how you. Uh, that's how you want these cards. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, if you're a first time winner, just make sure you reach out to me. My email address is in the de uh, description box down below. Make sure you email me your shipping address so I know where to ship the cards. Um, otherwise, if you want it before, don't worry about it. I know your shipping address. I can just mail the cards out to you. Now, next week, we'll go back to pulling some more cards. Um, hopefully, mo most likely it could be the new set. So, make sure you tune in if you want to see what I can add into my collection for which card I can pull uh, and tune in for more giveaways. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next week.